He thinks that in the January 6th case for election interference, that because he was president at the time that he deserves immunity for his actions. And you've heard him talk about this, how if I don't get immunity, what will mean, mean for other presidents? They'll have to watch everything they do because then when they leave office, they'll be prosecuted. They could be prosecuted. Of course, that hasn't happened. In, the, in our country's history until, t until this particular president. So that's the argument that he's going to be making. And you know there is no Supreme Court precedent for that. The Supreme Court has never ruled on absolute or any kind of criminal immunity for a president of the United States. So that's a, going to be a legal question. And, but what it's doing is it's slowing down the process of trying Trump for criminal. For so what do you think, what are the reasonable expectations for what could happen today with the Supreme Court? Will, will they rule? If so, oh, how do you well, think they will? They're not going to rule today. They're not going to rule today. That's the, I mean, the problem is that these cases take months okay. for them when they don't want to. I mean, look at the Colorado case over the Colorado ballot decision. They did that really quickly. For some reason, this, they have delayed, they d delayed taking it, deciding whether to take it, okay. and then they put it on the last possible day of the term for oral arguments. The court is done with oral arguments after today, and they don't usually have oral arguments on Thursday. So this decision could come out the end of June, which is before they go on their, you know, summer recess, and, you know, that would really make it perhaps impossible because they may not rule on the issue itself. They may say, we're going to send this back to the district court judge, Tanya Chutkin, and have her explore the areas where, you know, there might be some presidential immunity here. Okay, so, 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 so today is just the arguing of, of, of the case. Yes. All right, well, this is, I mean, it sounds like we're just going to be going back and forth potentially um, that this could really drag out beyond the election, perhaps, so, like uh, as far as when we get this a verdict. Won't. This won't. The Supreme Court will have okay. a decision by the end of June. All right. June 30th. Is, how many days are there in June? 30th? 30th. 30th. September. Yeah, that sounds okay, right. Okay, yeah. so June 30th. <laughs> they rarely go past because they want to go on vacation. And usually the, I, the biggest cases of the term come down that last week of the term. And, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. They always say, well, the big cases, you know, take longer because there are more concurrences and dissents. But... I just think that they hold them until the end and they leave town. Is there a consensus within the legal community today how this court may rule? Well, I mean, the consensus within the legal community is that they shouldn't have even taken this case, that the the federal district court, you remember the, yep. the question um, about SEAL Team 6. So they wrote a really thorough opinion. So it... and. The Supreme Court took a while to decide whether to take this. That means four justices decided to take this case. So the consensus is that there is no presidential okay. immunity. But there's okay. no consensus about how the Supreme Court we'll might rule. rule.